So Tenant will absolutely not be a streaming first title. So the AT and T CEO says, film studios like say are slowly determine what rules to be held for vehicle release or what titles become streaming exclusives. So the Tenant will absolutely go to feeders. So the movie is scheduled for vehicle release for get a series of titles, the Scooby Doo movie and Souls World Tour and Hamilton. Free, you know, including Hamilton straight to Disney Plus. Nine eighty four, one over and Black Girl are also on record go streaming first, but Tenant has been delayed to unknown state later this year. It's definitely be a free echo release. I don't think there'll be some things that'll be built for free echo release. Thank you, said. Thank you, said. But it's going to happen with a buoy like Tenant or nine eighty four. I'll be very surprised if Tenant is not going to be that case. So yep, Tenant is coming to the feeder still. So yep. And you have an prequel about so we do well at the gold box house. Dunkirk and Interstellar Ghost found about twenty seven million six hundred thirty seven million at the box office respectively. And no one's decided to see to see me have Tenet be the movie that reopens feeder where studio is trying to abide. Ghostfather is likely to be validated and yep, Tenet is probably gonna be a movie that's coming out in feeders, you know, pushed back to mid August and yep, Milan has been delayed. New Mutants, Last Mutants is fair to be released, but Disney could stage those release dates if it continues to grow again. And yep, AT&T movies that Warbird Media can find on other distribution paths, food as little rentals, and HBO Max, World Media as a platform can leverage in the pandemic and beyond. So streaming is here, it's a viable revenue source for studios and conglomerates that own them. Not taking advantage of those distribution benefits does not make any sense, but Warbird isn't walking away from feeders as well. So, yep, that's basically it. Goodbye.